YouTube, Brian here coming at you uh, with another video. I'm um, actually doing a little bit of an unboxing video today. Um, I picked up some used uh, equipment for uh, my various planted tanks and uh, bought it uh, for a real good deal from Cyber Aquarius. Um, I was looking for some stuff online um, and I just wasn't finding what I was looking for because I wanted to go used on, on what I was looking for. And I got to talking with the uh, with Cyber Aquarius, and uh, um, if if you guys don't <clears throat> know this about him, he uh, he used to keep planted tanks. He knows a ton about planted tanks, and to be honest with you, that's where I get most of my advice on what I've been doing with my planted tanks. And uh, whenever I have questions or problems, he's always there to help me. And uh, he knows a ton about planted tanks. He knows a ton about any type of tank. South American, Central American cichlids, African cichlids is what everyone knows him for online, just because that's what he's that's what he's um, got right now. Um, I think he's even kept reef tanks in the past, so he knows a ton about that stuff too. So check out his channel and subscribe to him. Um, do yourself a favor if you haven't already. I'm sure most of you that watch this are already subscribed to him, but if you haven't, check out Cyber Aquarius. But anyway, I got to talking to him and. Uh, some of the things I was looking for I just couldn't find used online and he's like well I've got that stuff uh, and I'm not using it right now so I'll sell it to you and this is what I got um, first of all I got an American Marine Incorporated pinpoint pH controller I'm already using one of these on my 150 gallon and I love it it works great um, so I picked up another one of those that I'm gonna use on one of these tanks here um, I got uh, this, which I love, uh, the uh, Red Sea inline CO2 control valve solenoid. Um, I'm using it right now on the 150 with my Milwaukee regulator because uh, this piece of crap. Um, sorry if, if you guys had Milwaukee and like them, but um, the solenoid on this baby broke just like on my Azu that I had before that. So um, got one of these already and I wanted another one because I've had great luck with them. They're awesome. They do not fail. Um, just a really good product. The Red Sea CO2 control valve in line. And then also going with that is uh, the Red Sea uh, inline uh, control needle valve, I guess you want to call it. Um, control your bubble count. And then a bubble counter. Um, on the same same kit basically so I just want to let you guys know that uh, Cyber Aquarius is, is uh, you know he knows everything about any type of tank um, so you should subscribe to him first of all and uh, he knows everything about equipment and, and stuff like that too so he hooked me up here and, and cut me a good deal and um, could have paid a lot more buying this stuff new but uh, the other thing he's working on right now um, I, I had bought in, um, the complete kit of all where this, some of this Red Sea stuff comes from and I was going to hook it up to this 90 gallon and I bought it online on eBay. It was sold to me new with box opened and the, and the stuff all looked brand new and hadn't been used before but I bought it and I didn't have everything I needed for the setup so I let it sit for a couple of months. You know the return time had come and gone, so it was sold to me as for a standard C, um, CO2 tank. So I go out, to, uh, go on to my local fish forum and find a used, nice aluminum five-pound tank. Pick it up from a guy for for a good deal, and finally get around to hooking it up. And it turns out that it first the first problem is that it's not for a five-pound standard CO2 tank or any pound for that matter. It's not for a standard CO2 tank. Is what I'm trying to say. It's for a paintball, these babies. So I go out to the store and uh, go out to Dick Sporting Goods, which is the type of sporting goods store we have around here. I don't know if you guys have those in your area, but buy, buy a, can, a paintball can, hook it up, and it's still not working. It's uh, basically the needle valve cranking up, or the, you know, the needle on the, the pressure or whatever. As soon as I turned it on, cranked up to the top, total PSI, you know, you want it around 30, and um, CO2 is just cranking out, and you can immediately see the, the CO2 tube just fatten. It just gets fatter, and then after like uh, 10 minutes, it, it, it actually exploded, popped. Tried it again a second time just to make sure I wasn't doing anything wrong, 
checked my needle valve, checked my bubble counter, checked everything, and uh, boom, it, it blew up again. So got to talking to Cyber Aquarius, and he's like, yeah, something's not right on that. So he told me to send it to him, and uh, um, he'd fix it. So I've been talking to him over the weekend here, and he's he sent me some photos, uh, texted them to me. He's got them. He's got that uh, regulator torn apart, and he found out what problem it was. It was manufactured incorrectly, probably. Uh, whoever put it together tightened something too tight. I forget exactly what it was, but um, he's going to have that thing fixed for me. Um, and I'll use it on one of my smaller tanks when I set it up uh, later down the road. But um, the guy knows what he's doing. He, uh, he knows parts and pieces to the hobby. So anyway, just wanted to give him some credit for that, too. Pretty cool. Um, but anyway, I've been rambling too long here. Just wanted to show you guys some of these things that I got. Um, you all know it, uh, but, uh, you know, if you can buy used, it always saves you some money. You may not get warranties and, and things like that on stuff, but I try to do it sometimes. Uh, not always, but in this case, I really wanted to buy used to save some money, and I did so. So thanks to Cyber Aquarius. Check out his channel, guys. And I'll have some more update videos coming to you on some of my other tanks uh, coming up here real soon. Thanks for watching, guys. Later. Thank you.